What is up everyone? It is your boy Winster and I am back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be doing an undefeated deck profile of Illusion Chimera. I literally just got home. I saved my tournament pack winnings. I opened my entry pack. These are the packs that I ended up getting for going undefeated. My matchups were Tempai uh, Labyrinth, uh, which was crazy because I got Smokescreen, Raid Raptor, Ritual Beast, Black Wings, Labyrinth at the end. But before we get into the deck profile and open these OTS 25 packs, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to also turn on the notification bell. That way you guys could stay up to date when new content does drop on this channel. And also, if you guys want to be part of the community description box, there is going to be a link to my Discord. Join up. Let's talk where you could talk, talk to me directly or talk to a great active Yu-Gi-Oh! community. We're also into other things, fighting games, memes, post there if you want. In the description box, I also have a active TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch. Be sure to follow me on those platforms. But let's go ahead and get into today's deck profile. First things first, let's open our tournament winnings. Uh, hopefully we could put an ulti. My girlfriend ended up pulling a Snake Eye Ash. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go! We pulled Exodia the Forbidden One! Sheesh! No, hold on. We still got, we still got packs, baby. No, oh, I, I accidentally spoiled it. Whoops. All right, last pack. That's crazy. That's crazy. I cannot believe we pulled Exodia. I actually wanted Exodia, which is funny. Uh, Dynamundo, but. We got the Exodia, the Forbidden One. Let's go. So it's actually funny that I went undefeated with the deck because I have been working on a deck profile and refining it to make it better. And I've made significant changes to the extra deck and it's just been playing well. And the fact that I went undefeated just goes to show you how much it's improved the deck. Uh, but to get us started uh, with the main Illusion Engine, we play three copies of Nightmare Apprentice. This card is absolutely important. You need to play three uh, because it's summoning requirement doesn't activate. And I think that's like one of the best things about it. And the search effect is freaking crazy. The fact that it's Illusion is freaking crazy. It's just an, an amazing card. We play three copies of Nightmare Swords or Mirror Sword Knight. Uh, obviously, this card is super powerful. Uh, it has great utilities to special summons from the deck. A monster that mentions Chimera Fusion. So it could be Bro from it or Gazelle. Um, and it's a quick effect, which is crazy, which could be used on your per your turn or your opponent's turn. Usually on your turn, you just get the extra bodies in your hand so you could fuse it once you have Chimera Fusion set. As another effect, negates the monster effect, which is crazy. Uh, and banishes from the graveyard or field as cost. I play three copies of Cornfield Kotal. Uh, I think this card is still amazing. Don't get me wrong because it's a searcher. Um, but uh, I could see where you only play two copies of this if you want to play like more board breakers or hand traps. But super great. Uh, has great targeting. And on top of that, it's a searcher for the strategy. Um, super good. And then we play three copies of Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws phenomenal card man uh searches gazelle or chimera fusion or uh, searches performance or chimera fusion and this thing is super good to go into because it doesn't lock you um and all these other monsters that we just went over uh cornfield Kodo, mirror sword knight nightmare apprentice don't lock you into fusions which is super impactful because you could do all your combos go into maybe little knight uh go into chaos angel uh, go into other extra deck monsters and then go into your fusion monsters uh, because it's not like branded fusion, right? Uh, where you get locked the whole turn if you want to activate it. You only get locked after you activate it. And the one that I'm talking about is Big Wing Performance, a super powerful card. Uh, you you definitely don't need to play three of this because it's kind of a brick because it's a level five and it's harder to summon. Um, but if you open the right hand, uh, sometimes what ends up happening, you can just tribute uh, after you use like polymerization, uh, tribute summon for it and then get the effect, which I have done numerous amounts of time. But this is the only thing that locks you after it resolves uh, into fusions from the extra deck. And then I play the Dia Bells. Man, this card is absolutely broken. Walking anti-spell. 
It is so good. Um, the only thing uh, that comes up is that if you're calling their, bro their bluff, right? But once this card is summoned onto the field, all cards, spell and traps that need to be activated need to be set before you activate them. And we all know once you set a trap card or a quick play, they're treated as traps and they have to wait a whole turn before you activate them. So this card helps you play around a full board, uh, helps you not play into poly, helps you not into play uh, imperm, evenly matched. This, this card came so clutch the whole event. Anytime I get it onto the field, it just helps so much. I wanna get this as much as I can onto the field. Shout out to my girlfriend who pulled the QCR out of like three packs, which is crazy. And then we play one Master Cow, the Chanter. You only ever send this off to the graveyard to special summon, usually Dia Bells, and then you're locked into Illusion from the graveyard. Um, in other cases, you could special summon Mirror Sword Knight and then go off from there if it's like turn three uh, after you've already played. Uh, and then I play three copies of Chimera Fusion. Uh, this is one that you can change. You don't have to play three. I just wanna have the ability to fuse as much as you can. Uh, with this deck and the fact that you could add it back and then fuse again is freaking broken uh, which sets powerful plays um, but anytime I go into game three or game two I just end up signing one out and put in a board breaker or you could just take one out entirely and play two and you'll just be fine uh, because it just has great recursion from the graveyard and that is it for the illusion cards I play three copies of Fright for Patchwork uh, I'm like I cannot explain how clutch this card is at best, it just gives you the extra poly and you could just continue to combo. At worst, it's just an ash bait uh, because sometimes you just have enough fusion uh, to go off of. Uh, and that's why I ended up playing uh, three of the Chimera fusion to have extra uh, ability to fuse. Uh, but this card is absolutely broken. Uh, the engine that I decided to go with is uh, two polymerization and then two Egypt chain. I don't ever find the need to play more of either one. Uh, two is perfectly fine. With the three ratio of patchwork you should see patchwork over these and then be able to combo off but uh this card alongside nightmare apprentice is freaking broken because you discard this uh to the graveyard special summon nightmare apprentice uh chain one apprentice chain two edge and pat uh edge and chain and then search the pack word and you still have another poly to go off which is freaking broken onto hand traps slash board breakers this is probably the biggest change in the whole deck when i was originally playing i was playing branded like not that it's bad or not really needed uh a lot of the time you'll just be able to otk your opponent which happens pretty consistently uh, so I decided to take the branded engine out. I play three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Uh, it goes without saying how powerful this card is. I play three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I think this card is super great, especially since Tempai is running around. You get rid of their field spell and then they can't, you could can still negate all their monsters on the field. And then I play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Uh, just another great hand trap. Again, the ability to fight back, other than just being able to establish a board, is really important. And Illusion Chimera uh, does have uh, problems breaking boards. So just stopping your opponent at important parts with hand traps or board breakers is a lot better than playing the Branded Engine, in my opinion. I am playing uh, three copies of Triple uh, Tactic Talons. Uh, you get hand trapped a lot. Uh, Droll is super impactful. Nibiru, Ash. Given you have a lot of ways to like play through uh, hand traps, which is freaking crazy, uh, but Triple Tactics Talons uh, is phenomenal. Worst case, you side two out, uh, going second and play whichever uh, side cards you need in the matchup. It's so funny, I never even drew the card. Uh, super Polymerization, uh, this card goes without saying, it's just a phenomenal card. Uh, at worst, uh, you'll just be able to fusion summon one of your own monsters to avoid like Imperm or Fact Veiler, or anything like that. At best, it just breaks your opponent's board. And that's it for the main deck. Extra deck time. For the Chimera cards, I play the two copies of Chimera, the King of Phantom Beast. Absolute phenomenal card. Realistically, you only ever need to play one uh, because game shouldn't go to where you would need to summon a second one. Um, so you can make some extra deck space there. Um, and then I play uh, two of the Burfoment, uh the Mystical King of Phantom Beast. This card playing at two, I feel like it's a must because it comes up so often considering how many illusions you do play um, and you'll just be able to fusion them off. Uh, I think you need to play this card uh, at two uh, and it's really useful with this effect. Uh, banish it uh, to special summon this that's banished and this special summons any Fiend Beast or illusion which is in your graveyard 
it's such a broken card. And then we got the OTK machine. Uh, we got uh, the Chimera, the Illusion Beast. Uh, when this thing battles, uh, it makes that monster zero attack and its effects are negated. And because it's an illusion monster, it cannot uh, destroy the monster that it's attacking or destroy itself. So you'll swing, uh, take the difference in damage. And then on top of that, uh, you will now make that monster to zero and then swing two, three more times. And then they won't be destroyed and then swing with an extra monster. And then that's game. That has happened so often. Such a broken card. We got fusion support monsters that work really well with this deck, but aren't necessarily illusion monsters or chimera, uh, but they just work really well. We play the one Draco Stapelia. Goes without saying how powerful this is. Put a counter on something and negate its effects. And it's a 2,800 monster, which is pretty big. We play the one guardian chimera, just phenomenal card. Usually they play this at two or you can at least. Um, I never really find the need to go into another copy, uh, and if I do, I probably fuck that game up, honestly. Um, but you can play two of this, but I only ever use one. And then we got Magnum the Reliever. This thing is a fiend, uh, just phenomenal, so it works like Chimera Fusion, and so does uh, Guardian Chimera. Uh, but this gives you an extra draw by putting a Polymerization or Fusion card at the bottom of the deck. And then when something's activated, pop a card uh, by banishing a Fusion or Poly from the graveyard. Uh, super poly targets we got mud dragon of the swamp and then we got gorilla phenomenal cards i think the best super poly targets right now and then miscellaneous extra deck monsters we play the one typhon uh this card it's just freaking broken um at best you're gonna go ahead and just shuffle a monster out of the field at worst your opponent won't be able to activate and they'll have to waste their battle phase to get over this guy we play evil czar lars now i personally wasn't a believer of this uh, but I ended up ending on this Imperm Super Poly Ash, and my opponent had to play through all of that, which is freaking crazy. So they weren't able to do this. And then you usually use Apprentice Magician and the level six uh, King of Mythical Claws, the fusion monster, uh, detach. And then you usually have Chimera Monster and the Graveyard, banish it, special summon a monster, banish the other level six to special summon the banished chimera monster which is freaking crazy man uh, super super powerful card and then we play the one chaos angel man i i cannot begin to explain how good this card is in this deck it's just so powerful it's unaffected and then monsters can be destroyed by battle which is freaking crazy on top of it all it's super easy to go into and i, I use it all the time with the princess magician and mirror sword knight uh, and then uh, it's a fiend. So you could use it with Chimera Fusion uh, once things go over, which is, it's so broken, bro. And then I play Beatrice. Uh, this didn't come up for me too often, but the idea is that if you get two level sixes on the field and don't have other ways to like fusion summon, um, you could go ahead and activate Beatrice and then get Chimera Fusion to the graveyard and then add it back to your hand from its own effect, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, I feel like it will come up, uh, but you don't have to play this, but that is my idea behind playing Beatrice. Unfortunately, I only have a gold rare. Gold rare is just the absolute worst rarity of all time. <clears throat> Last but not least, we play the SP Little Knight. This card's freaking broken. There's not really much to go over. Hopefully he doesn't get banned. Psychic time, and my going first cards are uh, Deck Lockdown. I play three copies. This card is absolutely broken. I'm surprised that no one is playing it. Uh, it's just super, super powerful. And then I play the one anti-spell because it's just super powerful, not to play uh every video guys right we got back row hate we hate back row we play two cosmic cyclone and one lightning storm for my back row hate for going second uh we got the gamma seal super powerful card i think like i mentioned earlier in this video this deck does have the inability to play through wards and just breaking them um especially monsters that are like unaffected by everything um so playing like a gamma seal to get over uh like ultimate falcon or the other raid raptor monster that did come up for me um and i was able to clear it using gamma seal uh it's just super powerful and it does help we play two copies of fenrir uh card is too powerful it is such a huge threat uh for any deck right because they don't want to banish anything uh face down um it's just super good man i i love Fet fenrir and that was one change uh from the side deck because i was playing thrust and i was playing mind control uh, and then I am playing three copies of Nibiru, the Primal Bean. Uh, this card, man, such a good card. It just, I hate it 
going second when I draw for turn and I needed it <laughs> because my opponent summoned so much. But yeah, Nibiru, super powerful card. And then I play a small Bistial package. I play the one Magnemut and then I play the one Jura Swarm. Uh, this just comes up, right? Depending on the deck, Lab, uh, Snake Eye, you get rich, get rid of Diabelles, Raid Raptor because they're all dark. It's just super powerful cards. Um, and realistically, you don't have to play them. I just think they're just too useful not to. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I am super happy that I went undefeated at PGL, uh, Phoenix Gaming Lounge, probably one of the most competitive uh, places here in Phoenix. And the fact that I did it with this deck, it feels too good. On top of that all, I ended up pulling the ulti from my winnings. Sheesh, what a dub, right? Um, so I'm super happy about that too. But leave it in the comment section. What do you guys think of the deck profile? Do you guys, are you guys trying to play Illusion Chimera? What do you guys think of my build? What am I missing? What am I not? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Check out the description box. Until next time, my name is Winster. You guys have a phenomenal day.